Hello my face painting friends worldwide on Facebook and local. This is Lynn Pickett from the Painted Smile here in Connecticut, USA. Uh, that's Lucky over there and that's Inky over there, our helpers today. So this is my craft and go table. I received this in February. I actually saw it online uh, late summer, early fall last year. I contacted the craft and go folks. This is made for scrapbooking. Uh, I told them that I was a face painter and I had lots of face painting friends who are always looking for the perfect kit and the all-in-one table. Um, so I took the plunge and purchased one. I absolutely love it. It is heavy, fully loaded as it stands today. It does weigh 40 pounds, but it is not an awkward um, kit because it has handles on the front and the side making it easy to carry around. So I am going to quickly put it together just like I would at a gig. It takes me less than two minutes. Probably going a little slow today. And then I will slow down and walk you through my kit. So here we go. Uh, you'll notice on the top that I do have some spots of Velcro and I will show you what I would do with those in a little bit. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing I do is I take down my sign and my mirror and my tip jar. I walked around to the front and my board goes right there. My mirror for the little kids gets put on with industrial Velcro. I'm going to invest in one of the unbreakable ones eventually. And believe it or not, I Velcro my tip jar to the front. It stays on the industrial Velcro. It's, it's, if anybody tries to steal my tip jar, the whole kit's going with them. So that's what my front of my kit looks like all set up. I am going to eventually have my name put on it and maybe a, a henna board or something I'll add to it. So now we're going to go back to the front. Okay, so here we are back at the front. So next up is my wipe case, my little baby wipe case. That also gets Velcroed right to the front. And we open it up for easy access. My water bottle. My collapsible water basin. If you don't have one of these, Oh my gosh, they are so worth the price. Fill it up with water. My brush holder. Oops. My brush holder. I usually have my water ball behind it or down the bottom. My spray. My jewels extra paint brushes, rounds, and flower petals which I put in the little pockets of my water container. I have a couple packages of desiccant to keep everything as dry as possible. My one strokes. My bag of sponges. Now one thing that I like to do is I love these little guys. These are command hooks with some velcro on the back. I place them on the front and I hang whatever I need to on them. Like my sponge bag, I usually have a trash bag around the corner, um, a dirty sponge bag. They're great little things. And over here I have my towel, my clean towel, which goes in the handle for my wiping of my hands. Here's my mirror, which hangs up here again on one of those other little hooks. I never leave it face forward because the kids want to watch themselves all the time. My foam inserts. Now these are not your standard foam inserts. These are actually air conditioning vents. I like them because they are ridged, which gives you some airflow and helps dry out your kit. Um, plus, you're not pressing against the entire cake with the surface. Alright, so we have those. We put them to the side. 
And then you have all my split cakes and rainbow cakes. I have two little um, one stroke size black and whites. There's an empty well in each one. Try to keep them as dry as possible. I have my kabuki brush, which I just dropped on the floor. But I have my blush right up here, so it's uh, very easy access. My ever present BAM stencils, which are always clean because I hardly ever use them because I'm just still too nervous to mess up and get paint under the stencils, but I got to practice that. My two daubers, as you can see, those are brand new and clean because I haven't really used them. And if I'm doing henna, I have my henna bottles right here. And of course, the all important hand sanitizer. I have, there's my kabuki brush. I have this empty well here. And what I normally do is I get a couple of wipes. If I can reach one out, this needs to be refilled. And I put it in that well so I can wipe my fingers off because I'm not a neat painter and i am always got black on the ends of my fingers and I'm putting fingerprints on people. So that's the basic setup. Uh, last but not least, I dedicated a camera to my kit. I'm always forgetting it. I normally take photos with my phone, but if I have an exceptional, uh, you know, piece of art that I've done or, you know, a really great looking kid and it came out great, I'll uh, take the time to do an extra really nice photos um, after I've asked the parents permission. That stays in my kit in a waterproof bag. This is a really thick Ziploc bag. It looks like a sandwich bag, but it's actually quite thick. On the top we have um, my appointment book. Those of you that saw me on the grape group last week, this, that is the book that I lost and found in my daughter's room on top of the fish tank for some unknown reason. We have the necessities of life, hand lotion, scissors, gum, extra phone battery. Down below we've got extra black and white and a few other odds and ends that are extra. My business cards. Again, that's my daughter when she was seven. That's her now. Some extra jewels because you can never have too many. I am going to show you one more new addition to my kit, and I'm going to step back um, and show it to you over here. I have a power block. How many times have you been to a gig thinking your phone is going to take you through the day, and halfway through it dies, and you can't make a phone call for somebody to get you extra supplies or come pick you up? Um, it's very simple to use. It has two ports. Excuse me, has two ports on the end. My apologies for that. When you're charging, you stick the small end in this hole and you plug the big end, the big USB end, into the big hole and you plug it into the wall and charge it up. You do the reverse when you need power. You plug the big end in here and the little end in your phone or your camera. And this will give you another 20, 30 hours worth of battery life. It goes with me everywhere now. It is an integral part of my kit. Love it. Uh, I got mine at Ocean State Job Lot. You can get these you know, pretty much at any hardware, not hardware store, but any electronic store or department store. Uh, if you live in New England, Ocean State Job Lot has two in a pack for 10 bucks. Well worth the investment. I have two of them, but unfortunately my daughter stole one of them. So, it goes over there. And I think that's everything. So, like you see, it only took me a few minutes uh, to set up. It took me longer to explain it. Um, I hope you like my setup, and I hope I've given you a few ideas. I look forward to seeing everybody else's kit. This is my main festival kit and large affair kit. I am working on uh, the DJ disc stand with the telescoping legs for birthday parties, but I've gotten as far as ripping the inside out. So, have a wonderful night, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's my very first video posting, and I hope it's not too long and boring. Good night, all.